Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of input-output tables. This is standard 4.5b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 31 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have just four numbers in our position here. That's going to kind of act as our input. We're looking for the relationship between the position and its value. So this value is going to act like our, in, our output, which means we're kind of looking side to side. And which rule? So that's what we're missing. If all we have is a rule, we have a complete input-output table. So let's just kind of take these inputs. I'm just going to take these inputs. And we're, they're pretty good inputs. One, two, three, four. Those are pretty easy to work with. So let's just use all of these rules and see if we get to our correct values. So let's just do times 33 here. We're going to see if this rule of times 33 gets us to our values. We should be getting 33, 34, 35, and 36. So 1 times 33, yes, that is a check. 2 times 33, oh, that is not going to work. That's 66, so that's too large. 3 times 33, way too large. 99, we're supposed to get 35. And then 4 times 33, that's, that's going to be 132. So... It started out good, uh, but A is not going to work simply because it only works for the first. It has to work for all four. So let's check our B. We just kind of do that and find our answers. Let's get our 1, 2, 3, 4. What does B want us to do? Minus 32. Okay, so 1 minus 32. 2 minus 32. You see how this is going to be a little bit strange. And really, this minus 32 would work if you went from the value to the position, right? So notice how I'm starting with the input. Because we start with the input, we use the rule, we get to the output. If we were to go backwards like this, if we were to say 33 minus 32, that would equal 1. And 34 minus 32 would equal 2, and so, so forth. This would work. Guess what? We don't go right to left. We go left to right. So it doesn't quite work that way. We have to go 1 minus 32, and that's just going to get us a negative 31. Think of if we are at 1 on a thermometer. We go down 32. That gets us minus 31. That gets us minus 30. This gets us minus 29. You see, we're going to get minus 28. So our negatives get closer and closer to 0 as our inputs get bigger. So if we weren't necessarily using the inputs and outputs correctly, we could make B work, but that is not how it works. And then C, I've got my 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're going to divide by 33. I've got no idea what these answers are. When we divide by 33, it is going to get you some really, really strange long decimal. I'll show you what it looks like in fractional notation. 1 divided by 33 is literally 1 33rds. 2 divided by 33 can be like this, 2 33rds. 3 33rds, that's another way of showing the answer to 4. It doesn't help us because we don't know what it is as a decimal. That is not anything like what we're looking for. So I really hope D is our answer because A, B, and C are all not working for me. 1, 2, 3, 4. It wants us to add 32. Addition might be a little bit better for us. Let's make that 32. And there we go. 1 plus 32 is 33. Check. 2 plus 32 equals 34. Check. 3 plus 32 is 35. Check. And then 4 plus 32 is 36. That is our check. So our rule is going to be plus 32, and our answer is D.